Welcome back, welcome back everyone to another awesome lecture. This lecture, I promise, will be interesting. Now that we have done, we install everything that we need, but we haven't started working uh, with compiling SAS. So Laravel Mix provide, if I go down here, Laravel Mix provide uh, this webpack mix.js. So Laravel Mix is actually a fluent API for defining webpack build steps. Now through this call, this method called method chaining, and you can define your own assets pipeline. Now after that is being done, we're not going to touch this part. As remember, I told you that you need to have Node.js. I'm just going to close some of the things that have opened this here. So you need to have node modules here. These node modules will not be created if we don't have node installed and npm installed, right? So that is the first thing that you need to do. Now, Laravel Mix is, um, so the only remaining step is we need to use and install this Laravel Mix, which we already done. And that will, in, with the, when we have a fresh installation of Laravel, you can find this here package.json remember we do have this similar package not similar yeah it is similar well, when we were doing the other project uh, when we were doing the styling so here we do have all of the scripts and all of the dependencies and that is done here we don't need to touch this part but we all have dev dependencies told we have Laravel mix jQuery, Bootstrap, SAS, SAS Loader, View Template Compiler, and in future if you need something, yeah, you can also do it. Now, so this is package.json in the root, um, root um, of the directory. So this includes everything you need to start. So this is like a composer.json. Remember, we do have this one. But it's different, uh, except it's defined node dependency. This one is defining the dependency of the PHP. This one is node, de node dependencies. Now, how we can run Mix? Mix is a configuration layer on top of Webpack, right? And so in order we to run this, we so need to run Mix, we need to do npm run dev. So that will run all of these tasks here. And also we can run npm run production when we are ready for production. So now, I don't want to confuse you anymore. What I'm going to do, I'm going to show you one thing here. I'm not, we're not, we're not, because we're not going to touch this part. But, remember that we have home control. So if you go to app, controllers and home controller, we have this middleware that stop, stopping us to go slash home. So if I refresh now, again, you know, if I go slash home, it should redirect me to the login page, right? And this is because of this middleware. So if I comment out this, now if I refresh and if I go to slash login, it will go me go to this dashboard. Actually, this is the view home. I'm going to show you if you don't know yet. So we have this home view and this is what we're looking. So you're logged in as user rig for example and this will should change here right so we are looking at this view and this view extends layout app coming from here very good and also we can put our content here at the end we are yielding the content so everything we put here actually will be attached here yielded here now without that we're not able to see this view properly. We're not, we're not going to be able to use some of the assets here, like app.css and app.js, right? Now, what we can do here, I'm going to show you. I'm, we are going to define something here, and let just, let's just create a div here called card container. I'm just going to make it like this. So I'm just going to say card container. And I'm just I just want to apply some styles here, and let's put h1 tag and let's say welcome, welcome home user Rick, and let's see what we have here. So welcome home user Rick, 
and if I can spell it right, that will be even more better. All right, perfect. Now we do have welcome home user rig, but the thing is that let's put a class here. Let's put a padding of four. This is a bootstrap class, so it's not gonna have anything with this. Now we're gonna learn how to create our own classes, right? Because this is what we need to do. So if we go back to the our application, I'm just gonna close this layouts here for a moment. So if I go to the views, we have the variables, we have the app, and inside we have we are importing the variables. Inside we are importing Bootstrap, and that's why all of the things here that are emitted we will be able to see. Now that's very good, but how I can apply styles here? So remember in our other applications. We, we can create here folders, but I'm not going to do this for intro lecture. I just want to show you a couple of things. I'm just going to create a new file called underscore card. We have this card container. So I'm just going to say card.scss. Very good. In this card, scss, I'm going to put some styles here. So our class that we want to target is actually this. So I'm going to say dot because it's the class. And now here I'm going to say, what else? So I'm going to say background color. Let's put a color that will come from where? From the variables. Let's put this one red. So we can use this red. And what else? I'm just going to use a font style italic, nothing else. Now if I save it this, most of you will expect here to see the changes. But that's not working like that. Uh, because we need to do, we need to run actually this mix. Mix is a configuration layer on top of Webpack, right? So we need to run it. How we can run is we can say npm run dev, and that will run all of the mix, mix tasks, all of what we have in the package.json file. Remember, that's why I showed you this package.json file. Very good. But we do have one problem. Actually, we do. Did we import in app? Nope. Now, uh, let's say components here, and we need to import this here as card without underscore. Remember, we don't. We, if you have done before uh, styling, doesn't matter if it was not uh, with Laravel mix, still was same. So we import that one, and actually here compiled successfully but we didn't import it so I'm just gonna go one again npm run dev click it enter and we're gonna wait for a while sorry about that that guys I forgot to import it here this part and let's see now everything is done so if I go now and if I refresh here it is I can see the changes now for example if I want to put um, color white here and that's good but in the variables I don't see anywhere that we have color white so we can create it right I was thinking that we do have and that's strange they should include white now we have their white here white and now if we refresh same old story nothing will change and this is why because we need to again do run PM NPM run dev but Watching assets for changes, we can do with npm run watch. And this is very powerful. So I'm going to do npm run watch. And it's going to watch for changes. For changes. Now wait for this one to be finished. Very good. For example, now if I add more lines, let's make it this one even better. Let's uh, put a border uh, four pixels solid this is for practice guys it's not something um, and I will say orange orange let's see do we have orange yes we do strange we do have orange we don't have white in here I should put a white All right first one do we don't have black we don't have black either strange yeah but it is what it is very good now we do have black, we do have white, we do have that border orange, and what else we want to say? Border, border, 
uh, border radius actually we, because we already have border border radius well let's put the border radius of 10 pixels and that's pretty much it what I want so if I save it now if I go here it's compiling very good now if I refresh there it is now it's working I don't have to recompile it again so we can even use CSS grid here and flexbox remember now let's create here height of of 100 view H of 100 viewport and if I refresh the height will be there very good now let's create this let's say that this is display flex display flex nothing will change here because we haven't done actually anything now I will say justify content to center that will align horizontally and align items to center so now if I save it that will be compiled again and now if I refresh I want to see this text centered like here and but it should be because we align items vertically here and here it is now this was just an example of how we can compile assets so if I confuse you a little bit let's go over one more thing that you don't need I mean you need to know so Laravel mix I'm just gonna close all of this all, all, all of this because I have too many things open so what we why we change first I'm just gonna start with this one with the controller why we change this one first because if we, this was middleware there we would not be able to directly access home actually this view here because this view it's having it's linked with let me just show you with app.js and app.css and by the way I haven't shown you the CSS now if I look control F here and if I look to card there it is um, flex direction column actually maybe this is not our card let's just see something here let's just make a more meaningful name because I want to show you the changes here um, card container sorry it was card container so if I go to the app.css and control F and if I look for card container here it is now we have everything here compiled right so if I delete something from for example italic we don't want an italic if I delete it here it will be compiled here it's gonna be finished by a uh, by the time I open and if I refresh now it's not gonna be italic anymore but the very good thing is that in app.css there is no italic as well right so that's the power of mixing of compiling assets so that's why we used home instead of welcome because welcome is having own inline style we can't do that here we can if we link up the um, each, uh, if we linked up this style CSS so that's pretty much it now before this you need to install node.js and uh, um, yeah you need to install that in order to use in Laravel mix remember Laravel mix when we are doing a fresh installation everything is using from this package the JSON here and this is includes everything that we need to get started so this is like composer the JSON file right running mix is a, a configuration layer so to run mix task you will need to execute one of the npm scripts and which is that npm run dev this one and that will go here and it will run everything that what we need in order to get compilation very good I hope you guys like this lecture it's been a little bit long but don't, don't worry um, we're gonna do much more compiling than this I probably we don't need this anymore so I'm just gonna delete the card very good so what else I, I need to delete the variables there are very good I'm just gonna delete the import we don't need to import that anymore we don't have it here variables they can stay like that and in the app in home.blade I can just delete this one and I'm, I can save it now 
if I refresh, nothing should be there. And this here, Control C, terminate the batch job. Yes, so we are back to normal. So no, nothing. Even if I save now, nothing will change. Nothing will be compiled here. Here we don't have it, the cart container anymore. So that's pretty much it for this lecture. I hope you like it. I hope you enjoy it. So I will see you in the next one. Bye.